Today, I'm gonna to try something that I've never done before in my life, and that is take a can of Savers chicken in white sauce, top it with this leftover ice and frozen mash, and make a Pultraman pie. So first off, we get our receptacle of choice. I'm gonna use this bowl here, because I reckon when I put that in there like that, I reckon it'll come up to about here, I'm hoping then top it off with mash. Right, let's open up our chicken in white sauce, which incidentally is cooked chicken breast 30%. This was a quid from Morrison's. Right, it's Lara in the bowl. So the amount was right, you see, it's left a decent rim. Probably just the right uh, depth for that. So here it is. I mean, it says 30% chicken, but when you look at it, there's enough lumps in there. You know, you're getting a decent amount, I would say. Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna get some of this um, ice and mash, these little things. I'm just gonna start placing them on it like this and cover the top back in a second. So there it is, nicely topped. I can't tilt it, obviously, because the sauce makes the mash move on top. So I have no idea how long to cut this for. Should we try four minutes? See what happens. Okay, my friends, so after four minutes, it looks like this. So the chicken clearly heated up and bubbled up, came around the rim. The mash is soft on the outside. And yes, it's just about going there. I would say that this piece was a tiny bit firm. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pop that to the outside there and pop this one over to the outside there. There we go. Kind of allow that hole, might work as a vent. And I'm also thinking at this stage, it might be nice to create some cheese on top of that thing. So I've got some Collier's Celtic a couple of weeks ago. Never tried it before. So let's see what it's like on this. Okay, I'm gonna slap that back in the microwave for about two minutes. So here it is my friends, after its second microwaving, I gotta say, uh, it's not the most attractive looking thing coming out there, is it? But I've got a bit more respect for the manufacturers of shepherds and cottage pies, we know, when it all spills out and goes over the mash. Yeah. But the cheese has melted down nicely. So we've got this kind of bouncy topping of cheese towards the middle, a little bit more formed, and all the mash under the fork, yeah, now is feeling nice and soft. So I'm gonna pop some on a plate, give it a taste test. So it looks a lot better on the plate, don't you think, my friends? It's got a bit more structure to it. Okay, let's get a bit of that mash and cheese and sauce and chicken, the whole shebang. Right, here we go. Oh yeah, I'm not kidding you, my friends. I had no idea what that was gonna taste like, but this chicken is really good, actually. It's like big breast pieces. Then you've got the creaminess of the mash and the tanginess of the cheese and it actually works really well. Let's scoop up that chicken and try on its own. On its own it's perfectly fine. Masticates down well easily in the gob. It's not massively juicy but that's okay because the sauce and the mash and the cheese kind of make up for that. So let's get a bit of that mash in the sauce without the chicken. Oh oh hey that is remarkable seriously. The saltiness of that cheese and that already seasoned iced and mash is to die for. Now I'm really not just saying this because I took this together myself, my friends, but if you do take some Morrison's Savers chicken in a can and some ice and frozen mash and any mature cheddar cheese of your choice and shove them together like that, seriously, it's a nine out of 10 to the last bite. Mmm. So Morrison's chicken in white sauce in a can, that stuff is actually really nice. I like it. I like the flavour of the sauce and the chicken. There's nice big pieces in there. So that was a quid. I put about, I don't know, only about 10 peas worth of mash on top of that. And again, about 20 peas worth of cheese. So that's £1.30. And that bowl would certainly serve 200 adults, or I think four semi-hungry adults. Put it with some peas and carrots, put a bit of colour on the plate. And you'd be well away for less than two quid, four people, I reckon. Anyway, thanks for coming. Till next time, get out of here. So first off, we get a bowl. Let's just...
on its own, it's really juicy. It's got a nice flavour. It's for, for all that. Every time. I feel a bit awkward rating this as I just chipped it together myself, but I've got to admit, 